Hey guys, what's up? It's Kev Concepts here, and today I have another tutorial for you guys. And sorry about the uploads lately. Um, I've just been busy with uh, school and other stuff outside of YouTube, so I haven't had time with um, making videos or stuff for any clients yet because I've just been waiting for a perfect weekend where I have t um, lots of time to um, do stuff. So yeah also part three of that um background tutorial will be out very soon i just need to um put along some um time on the side to make all that uh tutorial for you guys so yeah um also if you guys are wondering why i'm making this simple tutorial of how to make a navigation bar is because i'm trying to upload um i mean promote originality with graphic design because nowadays there's so many packs out there that just give you all the stuff and then you just drag it into the design and just change it a little and boom you've got the design but there's no creativity or uh, originality in it especially originality so yeah so let's just get started with this and yeah let's jump into it so right now i have a gray gray background right here gray colored and just create a new layer by um, pressing the new layer button it's right next to the delete button um in the bottom right here so just make a new transparent layer and get the, your rounded rectangle tool and we're going to pick solid white as the color and we're just going to make a bar around like this let's just make the bar like that it doesn't really matter how it looks what size you make it let's just make it like that that looks pretty good and <clears throat> basically, how you get all the effects and stuff is pretty simple. It just takes um, how to um, use the correct layer styles and stuff like that and the settings. So right now, we're going to double-click the layer that you just made that shape on. And it gives you this um, separate window with all the layer styles. So now we're going to make a drop shadow. We're going to put the distance at 0 and the size at 10. We're gonna, it, look, it should look like that. And everything else, keep the same. And now we're going to put the gradient overlay on it. So we're going to put the gradient overlay at this um, last gradient. It should be a dark gray to a faded transparentish white. And we're going to put the opacity at 25%. And we're going to keep this uh, scale um, the same. Uh, yeah. Oh, you can put the uh, opacity at 25 or 30 doesn't really matter <clears throat> so we have that right now and now we're gonna add a stroke and the stroke color is going to be white because it adds a cool effect that I kind of like on it, it sort of makes it um, like pop out of the background and yeah so for this one I'm also going to should be showing you guys uh, two two styles of uh, nav bars so this is the first one right here it's sort of more a metallic -y one so now we have this this uh, layer right here, um, you can always adjust the settings however you want it, um, of course, it's your design, and we're going to keep it like that, and now we're going to make a new layer, and we're going to get the, we're going to get uh, the regular rectangle tool, and we're going to get the color of sort of a gray or a black, uh, somewhere in between, and we're going to um, draw a rectangle midpoint of the rounded rectangle that you just made, like that. And we're going to try to center it, center it as much as we can, and it should be like that. Um, <clears throat> so now we're going to right click that layer that we've just made. And we're going to um, press create clipping mask. And what that's going to do is going to um, change the size. It's not deleting any of the shape. It's just putting that texture or color that you have inside of the rounded rectangle. So it makes that shape right there. You can If you move it around, the shape is still there. So yeah, um, don't mess with that. So yeah. <clears throat> All right, so now we're going to uh, adjust this opacity. We're going to put the opacity at 25% or um, however you guys really want it. And um, I think I'm just going to put it at 
15, oh, however you guys really want it, oh, I'm going to keep it at 10, alright, and now, um, just make sure everything is how you want it, how you want it to look and stuff, um, and it should look fine, and you, if you guys want, you can always, uh, change the stroke size and all that stuff, I'm just adjusting it a little, there we go. I, I put the stroke at 75 OP city percentage. So it should look like this. Um, already we've got um, a cool looking nav bar right here. Uh, if you guys uh, don't want to like mess around with the um, clipping mask, you can always just right click it and merge down. It makes everything one sh perfect shape. So now we've got it right there. And... Um, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to copy down this nav bar. And uh, it should copy down without the layer mask. It should copy down without the layer mask. Um, hold on, I gotta add the clipping mask again. And merge those layers. Alright, so we've got this one right here. We're gonna keep uh, call this nav1. We're gonna keep that as nav1 and we've got this copy right here we're just going to call it nav2 uh, the second style the second style is basically how you see it right now we're just going to edit the gradient a little uh, to make it a little stand out a little more so we're going to uh, double click the layer again to get the uh, the styles out and we're going to put the opacity and we're gonna up make it up a little to like 55 or 58 it should be at 50 right now but we're going to put it up a little more um, just to make it more noticeable and we're going to put the scale at 70 75 we're going to put the scale of the gradient at 75 so it should be like this um, if you guys want to add a bevel emboss go for it it adds like a a little a little more um, pop to it of course um, like that, like that, all right, so now uh we have that second nav bar style, and we're going to make a third one because uh I just came up with uh a third one that I really like actually uh it's a little uh different it's a little more different than the other one, so we're just going to copy that down, we're going to call this nav three, and we're going to double click it and we're going to get rid of the stroke in this one, and we're going to lower the drop shadow to 10. Oh, no, actually 15. I meant uh, we're going to um, lower the op opacity of the drop shadow to around 50. And now we're going to change the gradient. We're going to put it back to 50 with the opacity and scale. Uh, let's keep it at 75. Yeah. For this one, we're going to work with the bevel and emboss, so we're just going to click that. Right now, it kind of looks cheesy. It looks like sort of like something you would see in a cartoon thing um, when you were little. But yeah, we're going to change it so we can uh, to make it more sharp. So we're going to put the depth at 1, and we're going to put the size at uh, 0 or 1. I kind of like it at zero because you can see the edge of it and um it just stands out more all right uh let's just edit edit uh how it looks and yeah it just has that little uh edge to it that sort of makes it look more uh crisp and sharp and i kind of like that um just messing around with the settings a little trying to see which one's the best um yeah, this is uh this is pretty good. Right here. You can add a stroke if you want or not, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, so these are the three right here, the three navigation bars. And also, if you guys would like to add this thing if you want, um this one we're just going to get uh a gray a, like a light gray. And we're going to make this uh, size um, bigger than what we had uh, like this and we're going to if you zoom in a little you can see it like this we're going to make a shape behind it so make sure the layer is behind this layer 
Um, you guys can always adjust the size and stuff like that. Um, so we've got this right here. We're going to double click the layer and we're going to add a stroke to this. Now, this is a really cool effect. So we're going to make the stroke at a, um, a white color and we're going to add the size to one, but we're going to change the opacity to around 75 or 50%. So now we're going to add an inner shadow to it. And what this does, it adds a um, sort of like inner shadow. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to click that and we're going to change the size to uh, to a 10. Uh, the size to 10 uh, and the distance and all that. Uh, it's going to keep the same. Uh, you can change it to 10 or 15 doesn't matter so it adds that sort of uh, effect right there it adds a cool effect and what I like to do with the stroke is I always like to um, make the stroke a lighter color than um, the back color like a shade of it so what I'm trying to say if it's a if it's a green you change it to a sort of lighter green if it's like the background if it's a dark green you make the stroke color a lighter um, sort of slightly lighter green it adds like um, a cool effect that I kind of link to it um, so what well, we see how I uh, just changed that color um, to a slight shade above this um, background gray and it kind of it had has that little effect to it it kind of looks nice um, of course you can add this to any of your, these nav bars like this of course and um, yeah, so that's it for the nav bars, but now we're going to add um, the dividers that will uh, make the links, basically. So I'm just going to hide all these other ones. We're going to keep nav bar 1 and just work with that navigation bar. And what we're going to do is we're going to make the dividers that will divide the links for your bar is something that you can use for the web design and stuff like that so what we have here is the bar and now we're going to get the line tool so with the line tool we're going to get a, a dark darkish gray not too dark but a dark gray or a regular gray whatever it is and we're going to make the line uh, the size of the bar and hold shift while you're doing this and we're going to make it the height of this bar. Let's make the line and okay so we've got that one line right there we're going to make a new layer above it or below it and we're going to add a, a lighter gray to it um, sort of the gray that we have on the nav bar but a little more lighter so it's noticeable and zoom in a little and want to make it right next to it guys right next to the line that we just made and it adds this cool effect well, I'm just going to crop down the shape a little to make it the size like that so as you can see we've already made the indent that simple that fast and we're just going to merge those two layers that we just created and call it line one line one and we're going to do that so if you guys uh have a fast way to copy these over is just hold alt and like just copy it over like that and yeah it's that simple to make um the line you know uh there's a lot of tutorials out there that where you just um change the layer style uh to some other stuff but you know this is the easiest way that I think of it and you can always just adjust the colors as well and it looks nice so we have our bars done and you guys can um, just use this uh, design that I've just done and um, for your designs and you know um, yeah so thank you guys for watching this and please like and comment and if you guys if this hap if this helped you a lot um please like and comment on this video and also comment what you guys want to see next because I'm always open for suggestions to how um what to make for a tutorial and stuff like that 
So yeah, that's where I get all my ideas for these tutorials, and I just want to help you guys as much as I can, uh, and help grow this community as much as I can as well. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this tutorial, and also I wish you guys a great weekend and a great day. Peace.